It's a 77th meeting between FC Leopards and Gorbaya. With FC Leopards having won 26 and Gorbaya having won 21. This derby is one of the biggest in Africa. It's coming to you live on your World of Champions from the Nyayo National Stadium in Nairobi, Kenya. Kama with a shot towards Gola. But Kama trying to look for a chance to cross it back in. Well, this is a nice touch, and Boniface Olua just fingertip touch on this one. A Alida Ucho, Kagere decides to go on a right foot shot. Not any trouble for Wycliffe Kasaya. Uh, getting a little touch coming from Abondo. Ucho sets it up. Balunga and Mary Kagere. Oh, it's a beauty. <laughs> it is textbook soccer. And Garmaya put it in the net. But what a display in which they put it in the net. The move starting on the side and ending up just being placed in the net. Well, Medica Gera beats his marker and uh, he's got on his right foot. Kasaya covers the distance. Medica Gera. There's a man who's on the right side. They've got a difficult task of defending and attacking at the same time, Jacob. They've got to move forward quickly enough. Nikena into the area. Oh, this one has been put in the net. Finally, with a very, very big kick there, making it go in. And a little bit of a difficult situation here. Shakava not happy about Ngama and what was happening in the goal area but on the other side it's a celebration for the leopards but he cannot definitely get him past the defenders gamma's shot doesn't go in that one is put in the net by the leopards that's that's was covered nicely jacob kelly who got the last touch of that one so the goals has been credited to jacob kelly Boniface Onya uh, did well to try to push the ball away, but it landed it with the foot of uh, Jacob Kelly. He didn't waste time, he just pushed it in for an equalizer, and now we have a game at our hands here. He grounded a big cross as well from uh, Kelly Jacob. This one's picked up, is it? He'll be enjoying himself, trying to get back into this game. Well, the Leopards. And everybody in there, and an interesting. Uh... Well, Medica Gera launches onto a loose ball. Oh, he puts it over the goalkeeper, but then there's no one to turn it into the net. <laughs> so a free kick then to Gorbaya. Lifted into the area, with Cliff Kasaya with it. And once you start a quick build up, I think we're seeing the last bit of action from the Nyaya National Stadium. That's the whistle. And the 77th Mashemeji Derby ends in a 1-1 draw, respectably for the left. This derby has ended from the Nyaya National Stadium. Leopards 1, Gormaya 1, it's full time.
derby between Gormaya and FC Leopards. The first game having been played in 1968, that was May 5th of 1968, and Gormaya won that game two goals to one. With it was FC Leopards on the offensive from the beginning with that man there, Sote Kayumba. They were not done. They came in with another attack. That was Gormaya. Jame Gislein Yipe, the boy from Ivory Coast, giving Gormaya the lead at the Moy International Sports Center Kasarani. And the fans were in cloud nine. Perfectly played to the place the header. And it comes off the underside of the back of uh, Kipiagon to give Gormaya the, a very much deserved lead in the 54th minute. Gislein Yipe Nyame. And he was not done. He came shut off. Uh, that is Denis Sikai, fed, fed the ball to Clifton Mieso, who beat his marker. And what a way it was for Jame, willing away again, putting Gormaya in the lead. The, goal, the coach there, Stim Polak, and believe, you know, disbelief, in disbelief, having seen his players take apart FC Leopards. He started the move and he finished it from that cutback by Clifton Mieso. One touch, side footing it into the net. FC Leopards shell shocked. Clifton Mihesi, FC Leopards fans in disbelief. They had started the game perfectly. Bagor were not done yet. He Gislain found uh, Miheso. Gormaya fans and the goalkeeper Benjamin Ochan disbelieving what is happening or what is happening at Kasarani. Third goal for Gormaya there, the former FC Leopards winger, Cliff. FC Leopards then was rocking, was rickety, was beaten. But the boy, formerly FC Leopards, did not celebrate it. FC Leopards launched their attack in search for a goal and it arrived in a waterway it came from that man. Treso Ndikumana, long range shot, finds the bottom corner, right corner of goalkeeper David Mapigano, no chance. Was it too late in the day? Was it a consolatory goal? Was it a cue for FC Leopards to spark a revival? Pushing on the Gormaya, but as things would turn out, Gormaya were in no mood to let FC Leopards off the hook. And that man there, Boniface Omondi, crosses it for that man there, Lawrence Juma, the midfield general, and the Gormaya fans are all in cloud nine. FC Leopards unable to stem the tide from Gormaya. Four goals to one. Historically, the highest score between these two sides was when Gormaya beat FC Leopard by four, five goals to nil in 1975. And this was coming somewhere close to that. But Prince Juma, the referee, bringing the action to a conclusion after 95 minutes of action. And the coach, Steve Pollack, was so happy. FC Leopards not able to provide an answer. Until next time, this has been the Kenya Premier League highlight.